All right, so here's what we got. I squared up the cross member back into the chassis, made sure that was all good. I took my box, and uh, what I ended up doing was um, placing it underneath and then measuring the distance that it was overhanging from the, uh, the inside of this lip to the outside of that box. And it was about a half inch. So I knew that would give me my length on top to be decent enough, especially because these are so forgiving with the slot. So once I did that, I was able to slide this in here. And then uh, from there, I had a large gap on top because, uh, because of the angle of the, uh, the brace on the inside. So I measured the gap there, which is about 3 16 chopped off 3 16 off the, uh, the one side. And as you can see, it lands um, almost in the middle there. Uh, you can see where it was mounted before. It was actually all the way to the outside. So this lands it just about in the middle. Um, and I'll be able to just weld this right in, I'm assuming. So I'm going to actually uh, bolt this into the cross member here to make sure it's uh, held in there good. And then I'll throw some tacks on it and then we'll be on our way. All right, so a few things uh, just happened while I was getting ready to weld this up. So first thing is I realized I didn't clean up the surface on the frame. So I need to get all the paint off there. So I did that. I used the uh, angle grinder with some uh, what are these benchmark abrasive flap discs. Cleaned it right up. I also cleaned up the actual part itself. Cleaned up the edges a little bit nicer. Um, so it should hopefully weld better. I put a little bit of a chamfer on it. Um, but one thing I noticed is when I was bolting it in, I was clamping it down and now because it's not a box, it's C channel, it's a lot less structurally sound. So it started, uh, bending. So what I'm going to do is I have some scrap here that I cut off of this. I'm going to cut some chunks off and I'm just going to make like three or four little pillars in here and just weld them in so that it'll give it a little more, uh, strength in there from uh, wanting to collapse. So I'm gonna grind these down, cut them off, and just burn them in hopefully uh, and not ruin anything. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So I got those uh, little pillars welded in. I'm just waiting for this thing to cool down a little bit, but uh, they're not the prettiest of things, but they are in there and uh, I think they'll do the job. Again, all they're doing is helping me from over tightening this thing and, and moving it around. So they should be good. If not, there's not much I can do about it afterwards. I'm hoping that, uh, you know, along with this weld, along the side that it's it shouldn't move but i just want to help prevent it from collapsing at all so that's all that was um on to the next which is to get this bolted back into the cross member and then have that welded on so uh we're almost there All right, I got that welded in. It was not a pretty process. Uh, I was having all sorts of difficulty. I had to play with the 
feed and the power um, mainly because I didn't take an account but uh, the cup can only get so far or cup the tip whatever of the welder can only get so close so the wire has to protrude out to get it to fill so what I end up doing is setting my feed around three and my power about four so um, what that got me was close enough. Uh, unfortunately, the better of the welds are on the bottom side. And what I ended up doing is going really slow and creating these big loops. And it, it created a, a nice puddle that just followed the, the, the tipper uh, down, the, down the line. So unfortunately, there's only a small segment in the middle that actually looks good. The rest of it's kind of clobbered because it was popping and banging, doing all sorts of stuff that I didn't know what was going on. So I just kept playing with the settings until it, uh, it finally uh, set up good. The top side was more of the same. I got closer, so it didn't have as much of that, but it still looks like it's clobbered together because I kept stopping and going when I was starting and looking and setting up different settings in there. So unfortunately it doesn't look the best, but um, it's in there. I stood on it. I jumped on it a bit. Not that that says anything, but it didn't move. It didn't do anything. So I'm going to go with it and say it's good for now throw some paint on it and um, and we're gonna be done with this project so uh, hopefully it's good enough for the long term and I guess we'll find out